Watch before you get angry about another cutscene. That's not how this works. Everything starts with a cutscene, everything ends with a cutscene. The balcony that had provided my escape was now well beyond my reach, leaving this massive gateway as the only means of entry. The gates were sealed, but like the time streaming chamber I had seen earlier, their operation was undoubtedly linked to that odd crystal mounted above the entrance. So, yeah, welcome back to. I don't know if I'm going to call this a Let's Play or a Let's Nostalgia, actually. I haven't decided yet. We'll see what happens in episode one. You land minimum wage rent a cups. You are the lowest class guard. I can literally run past all of you. I don't need to fight any of you. It's absolutely no point. You get no bonuses, no upgrades. I mean, technically speaking, you get some life back because it slowly drains as you progress, but. Yeah. We're not that bothered. I'll kill one or two as I go across just to make sure I don't die horrendously, but other than that, I'm absolutely fine. I mean, really, you guys are worse than those mall security people. Don't go there. Don't touch that. Sir, I think it's inappropriate to do that in public. I mean, really, who cares? <laughs> oh, God. Happy to do actually a fair bunch of shopping over the past few months. More than I should have, because you're not supposed to be saving to move abroad and all that. Yeah, I see the ghost birds too, don't worry. And uh, I was looking at one of the things I bought. Ah! Oh, what's that? It's a dog with an axe for a face. Okay, that's just a thing that exists in this world. And apparently I'm the monster. <laughs> Anyhow, because I've been doing a lot of shopping, I was looking at some of the stuff that I've bought lately. And I couldn't help but notice there's some stuff that I don't think I'm ever really going to use. I mean, for example, I bought. Um, this is back. Yeah, you do as a snack. I bought um, a copy of Dark Sector for the PS3. Just back when the missus was still there, actually. Uh, it only cost me £1.50. But in fairness, I don't think I'm ever, ever going to play it. I, I don't know why I bought it. In fact, I do know why I bought it. It's because there was a, uh, a little voice around about shoulder height. Could have been a conscious. Could have been the missus. She'll never know one way or the other whether I'm not I'm making fun of her height or likening her to a figment of my imagination. And she doesn't watch these videos anyway, so who cares? <laughs> oh. There was nothing noble but yeah, she was the one who instigated that I buy that, because it's only a pound fifty. Doesn't matter, I'm never going to play it. Uh, I love it, she got a little... Uh, few quirks and eccentricities like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, fiercely intelligent young woman, naturally. But I did have to once explain to her what a label maker was. Again, that's just part of me being incredibly old in comparison, I guess. Yeah, I was trying to explain to her what label Maker was and why it was something that was fun to play with as a kid. You just kind of, you type out, you know, rude words and you put them on things. Typical childish amusement, you know? I say as if it wasn't something that I'd do in an instant today if you gave me a label maker. Just go around sticking twat on the cat's back, things like that. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I pronounced that twat for our North American listeners. Just get me wrong, I love you all, but you people cannot pronounce consonants or vowels properly. You really can't. It's an ongoing thing again with my with my partner. The current one is the correct pronunciation of the word, well actually not word, the name, Craig. C-R-A-I-G. Craig. Now you notice A and I make an A sound, not an E sound. It is not bloody Craig. Anyway, cutscene's happening. I had never beheld them the legacy of Ken file state yet something profound and indelible resonated within me at the sight and there waiting at the very heart of the pillars was the canker that was destined to destroy them I pass his Achilles seal cankles You're considering which pillar to bench press first I know you're there Raziel Mobius of course you have, I got slappy feet. Though I might have guessed you'd meet I can't get shoes, I can't get pants. And if Mobius told you I was hidden on the underside of hell, would you throw yourself into oblivion to pursue me? Possibly. Mobius trawls for the ignorant and unwary, hauling his gasping prey from the streams of their destinies. Stay out of his net, Raziel. Spare me your elaborate metaphors, Cain. Pot kettle. I pursued you here for one purpose. To take you your pants. Pay for your betrayal. 
and balance will thus be restored to normal. Seriously, my pelvis is getting drafty. Will is satisfied then? The will of Raziel or Mobius? Would I be better manipulated by you, Cain? Now, turn and face me. Why? Chase Just stab him in the back. This isn't a chase, slap, slap. Raziel. We are merely passengers on the wheel of destiny, describing a perfect circle to this point. We've been brought here for a reason. I've seen the beginning yes. and end of our story, sequel prophets. However, and the tale is crude and ill-conceived. We must rewrite the ending of it. You and I. Face me, Kate. Why, who wrote the original Even ending? You Ryan Johnson? Die a coward's death. Isn't it customary to grant the condemned a final request? It depends where you're from. Courtesy from you. Indulge me, Raziel. All I ask is that you listen. This is the sublime moment of our undoing, Raziel. The ineffable fulcrum upon which swings the entirety of our history. This Such is where all of Nosgoth is betrayed. In this instant, Ariel, the balanced guardian, is murdered by dark forces bent on overthrowing the pillars. Her spirit is just now tearing free, lost in the ether, trying to find its way here. You have already seen how she comes to haunt these pillars. Bound here by your refusal to die, you are the reason this land becomes diseased. As long as you remain alive, you condemn Nosgoth to an eternity of decay. Be still, Raziel. See this. As Ariel dies, I am being born to take her place as Balance Guardian. Such is my destiny. Well, that was dramatic. At the moment of my first cry, Ariel's beloved, the guardian Nup Raptor, finds her corpse. Racked with grief and tormented by suspicions of treachery, Nup Raptor plunges into a madness which overflows and infects all of the guardians who are symbiotically bound, including me. Don't you just the hate when that happens. Of Ariel's assassination were expertly calculated. The entire circle descends into madness, and I am tainted at the moment of my birth, instantly rendered incapable of fulfilling the role destiny has prepared for me. Shall I show you the same mercy you showed the rest of the circle then? You blithely murdered them to restore their pillars, yet your hand faulted when it came to the final sacrifice. What kettle? you exempt, Cain? You're merely the last man standing. Why condemn me? for simply carrying out what you hadn't the courage to do yourself. Let's drop the moral posturing, shall we? We both know but there's what no have we got left? in this pursuit. Your reckless indignation led you here. I counted on it. No wheels in wheels. In it, Raziel. Revenge is motivation enough. At least it's honest. Hate me, but do it honestly. Thirty years hence, I am presented with a dilemma. Let's call it. That would a really nice place to transition. If the coin falls one way, I sacrifice myself and thus restore the pillars. But as the last surviving vampire in Nosgoth, this would mean the annihilation of our species. Mobius made sure of that. If the coin lands on the reverse. I refuse the sacrifice and thus doom the pillars to an eternity of collapse. Either way, the game is rigged. We agree then that the pillars are crucial and must be restored. Yes, Raziel. That's why we've come full circle to this place. So after all this, you make my case for me. To end this stalemate, you must die so that new guardians can be born. Pillars don't belong to them, Raziel. They belong to us. Your arrogance is boundless, Cain. <laughs> There's a third Thank you. A monumental secret hidden in your very presence here. But it's a secret you have to discover for yourself. Unearth your Why? destiny, Raziel. It's all laid out for you here. You said it yourself, Cain. There are only two sides to your coin. Apparently, sir. 
But suppose you throw a coin enough times. Suppose one day it lands on its edge. It bounces and falls over. That's physics. Suck it, Descartes. <laughs> Anyhow, let's carry right along, shall we? That was very deep. We're very moved, but uh, got things to do, places to go, puzzles to solve. Speaking of puzzles, I'm going to solve this puzzle in advance. The little pillars have the symbol of the shifting worlds I got on them. Yeah. I didn't know what impulse stayed my I'm sorry, I forgot. It had been five Why steps out of cutscene. I had so willingly allowed Cain to escape me when I had pursued him for so long. So it wouldn't be a game of wise Raziel, that's why. After he had valued me so little. And yet, I found myself intrigued by his words. I had been too cruelly used to so gullibly play his pawn. But if this world truly had secrets to divulge, I was determined to expose them. Oh my. Yeah, bring back something that I really liked from the first game. Shifting scenery. By changing between spectral and physical, you get different, uh, well, scenery. It's really cool. Something I really enjoyed, as I say, in the first Soul Reaper. This one, to my memory, does less of it than the first game did. Um, but I still think it's pretty cool regardless, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Ha! Eat all the skulls, all the dead peoples. This is one thing, actually, I gotta say, from the original I could do without. Having to recharge your health back up to full before you can transition back to the real world. Or the physical world, however you want to put it. Just the fact the game default starts you in spectral form at less than full health, regardless of what your health was in From the uh, moment of my arrival, I had the constant and palpable sensation of being watched. Car! Someone, it seemed, was keenly interested in my presence here. Car, my bird. Car. Car. Woo. Birds do that, right? That's perfectly normal. They turn into green smoke. It's a flawless disguise when you think about it. From yeah. the look of it, this In case you hadn't realized, something whack is going on, yo. I began to realize it was no mere coincidence that I found myself standing here. Beneath this winged figure with blue skin and clothes that appears to be so peeing all over the floor and bearing this unique key, stab it in the dick. And so it the was only way forwards gravity and trepidation that I unsealed that ancient door and crossed the threshold. See, again, all this really makes me think of Shadow Man. That's not a bad thing, I love that game. That's why I LP'd it all those years ago. Yeah, I could do more of that actually. You know, it's a shame that the sequel to Shadow Man, as I recall from what little I played, wasn't very good at all. If it had held a bit truer to the original, that would have been a great experience in my opinion. There's a lot of games as they went out of like the N64, PS1, slash PS2 era, that felt the need to like really diverge from what, what they used to do and what they used to be. It's their own detriment in my opinion. You hear that? That's what I was whispering my name. Hello? Try and scare me. I'm the reason they invented Afraid of the Dark, mate. Have As you seen I my the face? Chamber, I sensed that it had been sealed for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. And while this room was clearly built when the pillars were erected, I knew oh that no human hand could have shaped this place, and that perhaps it had never been seen by human eyes. The surrounding murals depicted a winged race, their features so like my own, but beautiful, where mine were grotesque, and angelic, while mine were demonic. I tried to decipher these images. A great war, but with combatants like none I had ever seen. The pillars, raised by this winged race, who thus defeated their adversaries. The winged beings again writhing in agony, apparently afflicted with the same bloodthirst I had so recently suffered. And throughout the chamber, inscribed everywhere, images of the Reaver itself. Was this what Cain had urged me to discover? 
I wondered. Lies, Raziel. You know what's coming. Cthulhu, Cthulhu. Do not be deceived. Says ah, the squid eyeball my monster. Ancient benefactor. And I dared to hope we had parted ways forever. Your silence was refreshing, but it lasted. No doubt you have a conveniently inexpressible reason for your presence here. Do not be insolent, Raziel. I am eternally present here and everywhere, now and always. I am the still Great old one. of the turning wheel, the hub of this world's destiny. But perhaps not so omnipotent as you'd have me believe. Your hold on me appears to be tenuous. I no longer seem to need you. Yet I'm guessing you still need me. This impudence is unworthy of you, Raziel. Do not you know, someday I really hope. Have if I ever actually have a kid, this is exactly how I get to speak are to them. Indebted to me. Indebted? You would have me show gratitude for a gift I didn't ask to be bestowed. Do you forget that you forced me to inhabit this vile carcass? I restored you to yourself, Raziel. It was Cain who destroyed you. The very enemy you've just let slip through your grasp. Do not no fairness, I've only got like two fingers. Servant. And a big stubby thumb. I serve no one. Not you, not Cain, and not your lackey Mobius. Mobius is my good servant. I have many. And if I tell Mobius that he's worshipping a giant squid, do you think his faith will falter? You will nah, I'd probably get off on it. Raziel. But beware, to embrace a serpent is to invite poison into your heart. Cain is a sinuous beast. He will seduce and deceive you. Sinuous indeed. You pride yourself on You've your seen those will, yet you let that degenerate deter your resolve. I harbor no illusions about his integrity, nor anyone else's. In fact, I am beset by manipulation on all sides. I merely seek the truth. These are the fathomless truths, Raziel. The agony of birth and death and rebirth. This is the wheel of fate, the purifying cycle which sustains all life. Vampires are an abomination, a plague which leeches this land of its spiritual strength. They obstruct the flow of life and death. Their souls stagnate in their wretched... That's the way you gotta go, by the way. But the wheel must turn. Death is inexorable and cannot be denied. Your destiny is irresistible, Raziel. You are my soul reaver, the scourge of the vampires, reaper of their apostate souls. Remain steadfast, end the vampire's parasitic curse, and restore Nazgoth. Cain's blood belongs on your hands. Cain indeed deserves to die for condemning me to this repugnant fall, but if and when I kill him, it will be for me alone to decide. Cain destroyed you without a flicker of remorse. He tore the soul from your noble corpse. And after you had served him faithfully for a thousand years, he discarded you in the abyss on a jealous whim. Yes, I'll gain boss the year, I Remember think. Your I'll give him that. Age, Raziel. Let it guide your hand. Let the hate flow through you. So yeah, we just got a lot to think about there, didn't we? Now, go totally honest, I don't remember for the life of me. Um, what else going on here? Oh, the game thinks I'm trying to swim into a surface. That's great. <laughs> um, I do not remember what the deal is with the ancient Smurf race. Um. I assume there's some sort of weird cycle link where we'll go back in time and end up being like the first one of them or something. So the only piece I do remember is that they essentially became the vampires. Um, and more or less completely forgot all about what the pillars were and became a detriment to them. 
just simply by existing. Other than that, I can't remember exactly what the deal was. But yeah, you know, well, well, I'm sure we're all covered as we go through the game. I don't. Well, I was thinking that. Was there supposed to be a third sequel? There might have been, so we might not actually get a full explanation. If that turns out to be the case, I'll look up a few wikis when I get to the end of the game and I'll. I'll expand on what the. You know, uh, predicted end to the series was supposed to be. I apologise, I'm. As usual, getting LP indigestion. It happens every single time I try and record. Now I want to try and get a quick look at this. Temple. I recall we come back here eventually when the water is no longer present. Yeah, look at that. Barnacles everywhere. This is straight up HP Lovecraft at this point. Because you can probably tell the series is heavily inspired by bits and pieces of the mythos. And again, that's not a bad thing. I absolutely love Howard's work. And yes, for anyone who feels the need to mention it in the comments, I did say work. Get over it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. I know, I'm just I'm just getting tired of people feeling the need to bring up um, someone from like the 1920s social views every time the name is mentioned. We all get it. You really shouldn't care at this point. Divorce art from artist. That's the way you do these things. If you can't, perhaps you're not old enough to enjoy it. There we go. So even the swimming mechanic reminds me very much of Shadman. There's a lot of stuff. Like the Pacific powers, the smoke mechanics, even the level design to a... Why am I going down? To a greater and lesser degree. Just straight up Shadow Man. That's exactly what it makes me think of. Not a bad thing, mind you. I love that game as I said. I know I'm repeating myself a little now. But in fairness, the theme is circles. Very different landscape. The daylight barely penetrated the dense canopy oh of the forest. Here I discovered an ancient ruin, unmistakably one of Mobius's time-streaming chambers, but long ago sealed and abandoned to the encroaching swamp. I didn't currently possess the means to break the seal, but I thought in time that I might. Really, that's all that matters, isn't it? As long as you might. No, I ain't got time for you, Missy. I ain't got time for anyone at this point. Got things to do, places to go, don't you know? But yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I got a few minutes left before I need to stop and change the recording. Okay, which is the button that does this? There we go. Yeah, not entirely certain why they decided to do that. You have to literally kick the door down. I don't think it happens anywhere else in the game. Hi. Vampire cat? So, my lurking observer was exposed. The creature vanished when he realized he was discovered. But I caught a glimpse of him, and his features were distinctive enough. This was you the definitely pick him out of a lineup. Corridor, the monstrous assassin depicted in the stronghold. Strange that a creature brazen enough to assault the circle single handedly would avoid confronting me. Very well. Really? If Vorador would not come to me... As Angry Scrooge would said, you're him. pretty much custom-made to kill to vampires. Of course he's weirded out by you. Terrace. No, I don't know. I sometimes think you don't think things through too well, Raziel. But again, that's kind of the most operandi of your character in the game, isn't it? Why people seem to keep manipulating you so easily. For better or worse. Mostly worse, <laughs> admittedly. You stop dodging and making me look a prick. Alright. Let's grab the sword. Use that to acquire a tasty snack. I'll to refresh my health a little. Oh god, that didn't work at all. Oh, and now the camera's playing up. <laughs> Alright. Ow. Thankfully, she somehow missed me for no apparent reason. So let's absorb your soul. That wasn't very tasty. Didn't fill me up very much at all. Yeah, well. There's a save point somewhere nearby. I'm gonna grab that and then I think we'll call it a day. But uh, I got stuff I need to go do. Well, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. I know it's been a lot of cutscenes, so I've been talking very much. 
I just really enjoy the acting and the story in this game. It's weird actually considering that the actual legacy of Kane series, so stuff that's dealing with Kane himself, I don't find very interesting, but Raziel stuff, just, hmm, on point. Anyhow, I shall see you all in the next episode, so until then, until then, bye bye now.